three, two, one. Yo, what's up, Derek? Three, two, one. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm JPEG, Derek, and I have a new video for you today. But before we get into the vid, let's talk about the HBO special. If you don't know what the HBO special is, it's help a brother out special. Go on ahead and help a brother out. And by helping a brother out, you would abuse the like button. Go on ahead and abuse the like button. Go do that. And if you're new here, go on ahead and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get into the vid. Today, the video is pretty straightforward. We're talking about film photography because I'm a film photographer. But oh, y'all might be wondering what is film photography. So let's get the definition. Photographic film is a strip or sheet of transparent film base coated on one side with a gelatin emulsion containing microscopically small light sensitive silver halide crystals. The sizes and other characteristics of the crystals determine the sensitivity, contrast, and resolution of the film. In other words, whatever the film is made out of determines the photo. That's it. That's basically what it is. Some of y'all might be like, well, what's some of the pros and cons to film photography? I'll give you one of the pros that I like about it a lot and that I've seen online. The initial price for film photography cameras, well, film cameras, is simply... About the highest 500, 500. But if you want something hype, of course, it's going to be a lot of money, a thousand plus. But for a good camera, 500. Now, with DSLRs, they're usually pretty high, pretty expensive. So the highest, the cheapest you can get a DSLR is probably 500. So for the film camera to be 500 at its max, for a good one, is that says something. But one of the cons is you have to constantly buy a film. Have to constantly buy film. Film is at an all time high right now. It's really expensive. Film used to be like maybe eighteen dollars. It rose by like maybe an extra twenty dollars, thirty probably. Certain film stocks, it's pretty expensive now. Another pro to film photography is somewhat mm, is limited to a, to an extent. If you have one roll with you, that's only thirty six photos. So. That means that take 36 photos, you're done for the day. That's all you want to do. Just take 36. But with a digital, it's unlimited photos. But it's not a bad thing. With a digital camera, it's unlimited photos. All you need is an SD card, and you can shoot unlimitedly. But with a film camera, you can't do that. So that's one of the pros to it, but it's also a con in a sense. But that's it. Um, let me take this off. Okay. My two film cameras. My favorite film cameras. Okay, these two are my go-tos. These are my babies. Um, this first one is the Canon SureShot AF. Now, this camera is pretty good. I like it a lot. I've been using it for over a year now. I've taken some really good photos with it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I did have some problems with it in the beginning, but as I went on, I figured it out and pretty straightforward camera i like this camera a lot it's very reliable it's very durable uh it is plastic but it's a it's a good plastic it's a good plastic on this camera for the most part and um yeah that's it for this camera this camera is pretty good i love it it's a nice camera and it looks good it has a nice body to be a point and shoot um let's get into the second camera the olympus stylus epic zoom 80 yeah, man, this is a pretty reliable camera. If you're a beginner, I would recommend this camera to beginners. If you want to just have this for just shooting pictures of your family, friends, this is a great camera for that. So I advise you, if you want to get into film, go on ahead and get the Olympus Stylus. The next topic of the video is film stock. My go-to film stock, to be exact. Uh, my go-to film... Ah. The next topic in this video is film stock. My go-to film stock is Fuji Color Superior Extra 400. Uh, this film stock is very reliable. You can find it in CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, online, Amazon, wherever you can Google something, you can find it. Hmm. Okay. This photography book. Okay, let's get into the next topic. My favorite photo book. Um... It is my only photo book, but it's one of my favorites. And, you know, Gunnar Stahl is one of my favorite photographers. And we'll get into that soon. But 
this photo book is pretty ex not expensive it's not that expensive it's actually inexpensive it's no more than thirty dollars um it's a nice book i think you get about 150 pages it tells his story a little bit shows everybody that he's worked with i think it's a great piece it's nothing better than having the tangible pieces of art uh, a lot of the times a lot of things right now is digital is only on your phone i think it's nice to have these tangible pieces like photo books and you know having contact sheets and all that different thing i think this is nice to have um it's one of my favorite books i want to get into more books you know i've seen this william eggleston book uh william verbeck has a book a lot of people have different zines all that kind of stuff um yeah go ahead and get this gunner star portraits book you can find it at i think urban outfitters amazon for sure um it's pretty accessible you can find it anywhere no more than 30 dollars. don't spend over 30 dollars for this and yeah that's the end of the video <laughs> that's the end of the video that's all i really wanted to talk about um i just wanted to share my likings things i like about photography my go-to film cameras my go-to film stocks just wanted to talk about all that stuff um if you made it to the end of the video comment what should we call man cannon gang nah that's corny <laughs> comment uh comment 800 nah, that's corny too um okay don't comment anything just comment i'm at the end of the video comment it was great comment whatever you want um yeah man that's the end of the video if you're already here, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm out. Peace. Oh, oh. Since I... Mm. Oh, oh. That's ours. That nigga oh, you talking about me? <laughs>